So I thought I'd come up with a couple of recommendations to users giving our results. First things first, try not to deposit and withdraw your coins from the shielded pool in the same block. A second, with uh, Jeffrey Kesnell's heuristic, the simplest way to avoid this is to withdraw and deposit different amounts. One other thing that we saw quite a lot is when people were putting money into the pool, they would be wanting to put in a very precise amount into the pool, probably to pay someone. And what they were doing is they were taking their change back into a transparent address so we could tell exactly how much they were intending to pay. If you were to take your change into a private address, this would be harder to glean information from. And last but not least, if the withdrawal and deposit address can be identified using standard Bitcoin clustering techniques, then we'll be able to link the two.